out. No, I'm watching Famer shame. Not fucking tits. No, get up. Mine's on fire. The most racist guy in America. You all disgust me! America. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers, and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. At around this point in my presentation, there was meant to be a call for my product team to introduce the device. But we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I hate to keep you waiting any longer, but trust me, it's worth it. And don't worry, I will fire several people. <laughs> would turn out the line and you sing like Jez Torrance ass ladies and gentlemen please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage hey this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents pool house in East Caraway today you're about to witness a new phase full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. 
Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home, and at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers, and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any... Uh, huh. Hold on a second. You. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Get security! Ah. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, no, no. Whoa! Lest, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look.
What the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City. But, uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. The jewelers is on Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Oh, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need.
Oh, come on, last night was off the hook. Hello there. Okay, let's get this done. What's going on, my dude? Hello? Ah. The best part about clucking bell is throwing it up after. Totally. You reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. The alarm, the vents, and the cameras, come on! Glasses are live, shoot away. I can't see anything helpful. I got an idea of their CCTV setup. Can you shoot an air vent in the alarm keypad? All right, what do we got here? Uh, surveillance and ventilation. Now all I'm after is the alarm. Shot of the alarm keypad. The shot of the alarms come through. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. The same my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> No, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around. Think about it. Come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. After the audition, I went back to his place. If you take any longer, you're risking blowing this whole thing.
Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Okay, my phone's telling me there's some construction around the corner, behind the shop. Let's go there. So, you keep up with the old crew? You know, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD? Shootout? Maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway? They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. I was inspired by my trip. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. All right. Call me back and I'll I know. Being an artist is rough. See you soon. I'm on the roof. All right, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Geotagging tells me those vents are directly above the store. The Vangelico system is the walled-in one. They get up high and take a shot over the wall.
right. You're well placed to take the photo of the system now. Okay, capture an image of the system and we're done. We've got our shot of the Vangelico unit. Looks good. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. Speed this up. We don't want to draw attention. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. Hi. So, what did you see? Mm, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. An alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you could smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then. Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. Uh, might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. <laughs> have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. 
Don't want to leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, you know, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the LS River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. You gotta make a call on this. Eddie Cho. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. Harris! <laughs> good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. That look good to you? Are you sure? Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good. Good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa. What? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you could put together your own deals, your own jobs. So. There's still some preparation I gotta do. 
Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. Do you even have a penis? Or are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? 
tricks up our sleeves, huh? Same. I'm just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. I still love you, Tony. Get out of yourself. You're in over your head and you're up there. Damn. Jimmy! God damn it. The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a math for like this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? You disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. <sighs> Fuck me. A bike ride along Vespucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just a thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Oh! You know, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How Jimmy. am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last 10 years, but that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well... I had to, to protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. I don't know, it's like I flash the chips. They want to know what I do, who I know. Oh, we've seen the 
Hey, you. Two bites. Take your pick. Yo, thanks. Sure, big mama. Any souvenir you... you if I make it to the end of the pier the first, plane. you're gonna buy me a big-ass new flat screen. Okay, big mama. Hold your kisses. Into the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being! Try and take me, then! Yeah, we'll see if you sass me when I'm in front. This is your TV cycling off into the distance. My lungs are burning, but humiliating you makes it all worthwhile. My body isn't meant to work like this, but I'm making it to beat you. Lie down, old man. Come on, Jim. Catch up. Imagine I'm a big, juicy burger. Oh, I'm about to pass out. When I wake up, please let this nightmare be over. No way. You don't. Oh, you shook me. Oh, my God. I'm just lost. Hey, Red Eyes. Down! You idiot. That is messed up. Good. You should go. Hey, let's meet up next week. Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Fuck.
Take you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, Ain't Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey. Oh, oh, man. I like him. What's the problem? You're such a oh. jerk. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so am I. Who's to the scene of my fucking boat? Oh, motherfuckers! Get on, now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit, they're coming after us! Go into the outlet! All right, all right!
that's when the TV people and drug dealers start hanging out. Come on, Dad! It's Los Santos! How is camping us going to solve anything? Go! Go! Keep going! Looks like this is the way out! Come on! Let us go! If you kill us, you'll be jailed, and the sea shark will be impounded! Back off, assholes! my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you sent him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life.
gotta start getting me some gigs with some bigger names. That's seriously not cool. Let's go down to the range later and fire off a new round. Oh, my thugs. All over her ass. Well, you're gonna have to make it up. Look at the D we in this town. Hey, you are fucked. Good model, huh? Hello? Hey, Big Daddy's home, as if anyone gives a shit. 